Burkett, to come to you, um, it looks like you're on mute. The, how, how do you see the differences in your work between eVTOL and eNestol? Do you see there's any key difference? In our case, we work on, on EV2Ls, but on the very small end or very low end, we start with the very small ones, mini, mini UAV class. So we are still far away from those uh, manned products shown by the other colleagues. So uh, we don't work on the short takeoff versions. Uh, we only work on standard flying wings and EV2L uh, versions. So in our case, our problems, we have some problems and we want to demonstrate them, uh, overcome those problems with the small demonstrators before we go to the, the bigger upscaled versions. And we want to use those small models also as products as shown before. So we want to, to, to grow healthy, uh, not. So we want our small products first and then see what will happen with the next upscaled versions in the future. Thank you very much. Burkent, if I could bring you in at, at this point, uh, how, do you, how do you see this playing into your company's product lines? Oh yes, uh, distributed propulsion is really a most important issue in our products. As you can see in the, in the plasma ray, we have multiple propulsion systems. We have a lot of electric fans. Uh, in the small demonstrators, we have uh, six, no, eight. Eight for the vertical, no, even ten. Sorry, I'm sorry. Ten, ten uh, engines for the vertical and takeoff, and two engines uh, for the horizontal flight. And in the upscale version, we have different variants. There is one German uh, electric ducted fan producer, which 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 makes quite small ones at, at the moment. Um, when we would use these kind of uh, German engines, we would need about uh, 36, uh, 40 engines, but there is an Italian company which can build uh, much bigger diameters. Then we can use less. I think on the website of our, our website, you can see more details. Then I think we need 18 only, 18 uh, fans. So we have some redundancy. So if one, two, three, uh, would fail, we would we could still fly. So in our case, we also have the, the advantage that we separate the, the horizontal <coughs> flight from the vertical. So we don't have um, mechanical parts. Of course, we have to carry a lot of engines then, which we are not using in horizontal flight, but we don't have the problem of make possible mechanical failures, then, which can always happen, of course. So you have to make them clear. So if you have some uh, rotating Engines, it can be a problem, maybe. Great. Th thanks, Perkins. Uh, are you finding similar issues? Or are you using off the shelf tools or are you creating things in house? You mean aerodynamic tools, CFD tools? Uh, basically, uh, computer uh, aided engineering tools. So it could be CFD, oh, yeah, it could we, be stress we, analysis. Uh, so yeah, we try to make uh, most of the things in-house, uh, the manufacturing, everything as far as we can in-house. So there is not much we are giving to to external external companies. So the aerodynamics and the design, of course, you buy off-the-shelf engines. The engines are off-the-shelf. We have to buy the engines. We don't develop the engines. We don't develop the batteries. We don't develop the power units. So these are all off-the-shelf units uh, which we can buy in the market, but uh, the, the, the analysis, the design, and everything else we, the manufacturing, we try to do in-house. Great, thanks. Uh, and Birken, are you seeing the impact of environmental performance on your designs as well? Yes, there, there is, of course, uh, we, we know we are, we are we are using plasma flow control and uh, there are two kinds of plasma flow control actuators. One is the, the one based on AC, more is a, uh, on AC high voltage. In this case, for instance, rain, rain can just stop the plasma for some time and then it ignites again. So it doesn't uh, really disturb the actuator, but the effect is uh, removed for a few seconds or whatever. But there are nanosecond high voltages, which can heat up the air up to 300 uh, degrees Celsius. And then you 
the plasma don't care about uh, your rain. And furthermore, you can use it as an anti-icing and de-icing unit, which is very interesting for our uh, flying winds, uh, as we can fly them at very high altitudes if you want. So we can use them on our propellers. We want to use them also, we just start the test. So we have a lot of options. So we are testing them in sand under conditions like uh, what happens when we have sand on our uh, actuators, what happens when we have water drop, droplets on our actuators. But these are problems which can be solved and um, so yes. Great, thanks. Burkan, uh, uh, yeah, I'll come to you next. Yes, uh, yes, I am really following what is going on on the on the LiPo battery market or on the general batteries. And we can see, for instance, Samsung announced recently uh, their new solid state batteries. They will be all, they will all have gravimetric uh, energy densities um, in the range of 350, 450 uh, watt hours per kilogram. So these kind of batteries will come in the next two years. This is for sure. And then it will change a lot, uh, and many people will feel better, and they will be able to reach their goals, which they announced for years. So, but uh, so the solid state batteries are also more safe. You can you can use a, you can cut these batteries, and nothing will happen. You know what will happen when you make this with a deeper battery? It will start to burn or explode. Mm -hmm. So I think there will be some big ch changes and breakthroughs in the next two years, and we will see them hopefully soon. Thank you very much. So I propose that we wrap up the session there. Uh, all that leaves for me to say is many thanks to all of my different uh, panelists. So Gabriele Teofili from Rolls-Royce Electrical, Tim Williams from Vertical Aerospace, Professor Phil Meller from the University of Bristol, Diana Siegel from Electro.Aero and Burkent Gerksel from Electrofluid Systems. My name is Dave Debney. Thank you very much for joining. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Have a lovely day. Bye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, bro.